So, Keith, you know, I, I, what I want to do here, man, is I want to talk about Rivian again. They keep coming into the picture. There's a lot of exciting things going on. We just recently had a podcast. We talked about the fact that they partnered up with, um, was it Yakima? Um, right. and Outdoor Outfitter. Right. And we saw earlier, previous to that, we saw the, the prototype of the all-wheel drive version truck. Was it the R1T is what they call that, right? That's right. RT1, R1T. And they R1T. have the kitchen kitchen behind, you know, between the uh, rear wheel and then also the, uh, the the cab. Right, behind the passenger. I'm, I'm feeling like Ed McMahon today. That's 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 right. Right, uh, right. Yeah, so, behind the back row, behind the passenger back seat. And the exactly, back so you got this seat. full yep. kitchen Flies option out. and everything. Yep. Um, this thing is huge. That is correct. It's big. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is huge. We know that. Um, it has the uh, this function to be able to get out of hard spots. What do they call that? The tank? Tank, tank, tank mode, tank I move. think. Yeah, yeah. Do you think? I mean, come that, on, but uh, let's be honest, man. It, it's going to be donut mode when we're. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Who couldn't right? have fun I with mean, that, right? Come on, yeah. But connecting the dots here. Would you think that the CEO is like going, you know, was it Scarringe is his last name? Yeah, R- uh, RJ. Yeah. yeah. RJ. Would you think that he's kind of maybe mm, going after, say, the uh, Overland crowd? No question. No okay. question. So I can make the case ex- here. You- absolutely. That explains wh- what, we're, what we're about to discuss. And j- this is just amazing to me. They're going to win this race, man. And they're going to be good at what they do. Because everything that they've laid out is very similar to what Ford had done with the Bronco and how they brought it forward in the marketing aspect of it. But they're coming through on what they say they're going to do. Rivian, I think, stands well poised to be the one first. All right. What about you? I'm going to take the bait here. Okay. (laughs) Okay. Where to start? Where to start? So... Mm. First things first, okay. Let's 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 take your your last comments and and I want to I want to jump all over those, okay. So, what I noticed in RJ's uh, announcement from him is that he's saying things like this, like the following. Now now this speaks to you, Jay, saying they're going to be first. He's out here saying. Uh, we're excited about the performance and reliability of, uh, the battery cells that they've settled on with our energy dense module and pack design, um, extensive cell characterization testing across a wide range of operating conditions enables the battery management system algorithms to optimize performance to the life of the battery pack. Now, now here's the thing. All right. That's a lot of like technical jargon. They're not out there like some of these other manufacturers that are in the truck EV manufacturing space going, right, right. well, we're in beta three. Well, we did like 20 bit. No, no, no. They're telling you specifics. See, right. this is how you can tell the difference between somebody that is like doing nothing. Well, you mean like a Lordstown? Like there's no... Uh, and, there's, and I'm not picking on any names. We're not picking on them, but we're just saying that there's been so much controversy surrounding those guys with being able to come... Right, come when, out with the vehicle. When, when yet- you're when you're telling, when you're mm, when you're being open, mm-hmm. when you're actually getting stuff done, like I'll use Nikola, you're not just showing videos of a truck in driving. You're out here talking about factual results that you have and as as outcomes from testing. Okay, right. right. So I'm look, I'm I'm agnostic on this. Like I want them all to succeed. I know I'm going to get hate mail on this, but I feel like, th- like you said, Jay, Rivian has the best chance of getting there first, and they, they're more polished. So, okay, so th- I guess the next thing we want to touch on here is that they've announced their partnership with Samsung SDI to do That's the battery huge. pack. Yep. So, so the battery cells for the Rivian trucks, for the R1T, mm-hmm. are going to be made by Samsung, which makes sense because just two months ago... Samsung announced plans on on their SDI website to invest 849 million to expand an EV battery plant in Hungary. Wow. Well, now we know why, right? Yep. Because they're going to yep. be making the batteries for the Rivian. Right. So, which which let me say this, let me throw this in, okay? And I, I hope I didn't break your train of thought no, there. No, go ahead. 
But this is further proving who's getting, who's going to win this race because you wouldn't, be, you wouldn't be doing what you're doing unless you are in your like ready go mode. Well, and here and 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 to back that up, they are doing okay. So the testing that they've been doing most recently with these battery packs and this battery technology mm-hmm. is okay. Back to the very first thing that you said, Jay, in this segment mm-hmm. is. They are going all in on the Overland crowd. Yes. They're out here testing these batteries in off-road circumstances. So they're beating them up. This isn't like a Tesla where they're road testing it across thousands of highway miles. They are taking this thing out in the off-road yep. and, and they're pounding these batteries. Yes, and they have to and, and the the bottom line is is they are focused on the overland crowd and the off-road sector um and this is just more proof that that is definitely going to happen they just teamed up with the Acoma. that that's a significant sign that they are committed to the overland crowd to be offering um uh, a, a, a rooftop type tent specifically made for the rivian or around its type of its type of uh bed you know, platform. Yep. Um, all of that, man, just speaks volumes to a crowd that they're going after. Well, and why wouldn't they? You know, don't take it from us. Take it from Rivian. Here's part right. of their press release: extensive cell characterization testing across a wide range of operating conditions enables the battery management system algorithms to optimize performance and life of the battery pack. Wide right. range of operating conditions, not right. just highway miles. Right? They're out yep. there. I mean, they're, they're, the founder is out there testing. He's posting videos on Twitter where he's driving this thing up mountain trails. Right, right. And it's a big rig. It does require a lot of, of, lot of uh, uh, power. So it would have to, you would have to have a large battery pack for that rig. I'm pretty certain of that. So I think that's, th- that is huge. Um, you know, look, bottom line, um, of course, they didn't mention anything about uh, the volume that they secured from Sam- Samsung SDI. I guess it's probably too soon for that. Well, and uh, right now, I think no one realistically can focus on um, volume because there's supply chain issues around the world. I mean, it's a global problem. It's not – well, you know, we talked uh, ad nauseum about <laughs> chip shortages, right? That's a recurring theme. You know, there's there's – uh, semiconductors in these battery management packs that control. I mean, they're telling you right here, like, um, uh, what was it? Uh, ensure robust cell testing and characterization. So characterization. So, you know, you can't just jam voltage at these battery packs. Like there has to be monitoring, temperature monitoring, uh, voltage regulation, and it has to happen on sometimes independent cell levels, right? Where, you know, depending on how many cells there are in a, in a full pack, you have to charge them independently. It's called balance charging. You have right. to balance charge those cells so that you don't charge this cell faster than that cell. And, and they try to keep them all at the same voltage level as the charge goes up. So, right. Yeah. I just hope I just hope that what we have at the end of this. Is Rivian comes through, it'll take them a while to get the production ramped up, I'm sure. But they say that in the next three months, we're going to see some significant improvement and signs that they're going to be uh, on sale and available for you to, uh, they'll be delivering, put it that way. So, so many exciting things about Rivian. We're, we're excited to talk about it and we'll keep you guys informed about it. So, hey, if this video is helpful to you guys at all and you enjoyed it, subscribe. What do they do, Keith? Do they click the bell? Is that I, what it is? is yeah, that, everybody says side, ring the bell, but you know, I've, I've, I'm all up in my head about this. You can't really ring the bell. You got to click it, right? You got to like, click the bell, right? So, right. So, so click, click the, the bell, bell, subscribe, go to our website, parskindaguru.com. Go do everything over there. Sign up for our audio podcast, and uh, we appreciate everything you guys do for us. Keep coming back. Thank you. You are correct, sir. <laughs> <laughs>